17th of October is my birthday and this year I wanted to do something a bit different to celebrate it. Rather than spending it at home like I normally would, I decided to book a place into the Paris Marathon with my brother, which was taking place on the same day. The day before the marathon we took an early flight from London to Paris and got ourselves acquainted with the city before resting up ahead of the big day. This video captures my experience of when I tried the Paris Marathon in 2021. I hope you like it. Hello guys, how are we doing? Today we are in Paris, we've literally got the plane this morning and we're now at the pre-race exposition for the Paris Marathon 2021. It's going to be an absolute blast, it's taking place tomorrow morning, I can't wait. No one can wait, it's going to be one of the best marathons I've ever done. So without further ado, let's get ready for the Paris Marathon. Good morning everyone, we're here in Paris on the Champs-Élysées about to start the Paris Marathon 2021. It's going to be a hot day, it's absolutely packed with so many people here. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to make our way to the starting area and get ready to go. Just left the Champs Elysees. It's about 9:15 in the morning. Let's do this, people. Okay, we're about three miles in now and I'm feeling pretty good. The course is very flat so far, it's a very flat city anyway. However, the sun has started to come out of the clouds. I think that it might start coming down on us pretty hard very soon, so we'll have to watch out for. But overall, nice three first miles. Wow, up to now, the course has been pretty quiet, but the crowds have just come out in full force and they're really cheering us on, so it's great to have that support on the sides of the roads here in Paris this morning. seven minute per mile pace at the moment and we just had a water station which was really good got a full bottle of water in me so at least I'm hydrated or just on the positive side Well, we're coming up to the nine mile mark now and I'm feeling much better than I did on the day of the Brighton Marathon about a month ago, um, which is a good sign. I blew up at around this time during the Brighton Marathon, so hopefully, fingers crossed, things will go well this time. Right.
Just past 11 miles, got a water station coming up. It's definitely needed, the sun is getting quite hot now, but I see it's quite a uh, fresh morning. It's the 17th of October today, my birthday. It's a pleasure to be running this marathon on my birthday. Happy days. Yeah. yeah. I've just crossed the halfway point, my watch stays 1 hour 30 minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty decent time and I'm feeling good this time around. Key difference in my strategy today compared to the Brighton Marathon, when things didn't go so well is that I completely forgot to bring energy gels with me, what a disaster. Today I've got a belt just there carrying the gels for me and I'm going to be taking them every 4 or 5 miles and I think it's going to make a bit of a difference. So far so good. My watch has just literally crossed the 16 mile mark and it's a beautiful morning. We're now running along the famous picturesque Seine River uh, of Paris and the Eiffel Tower has just come into view in the distance. I'm sure we'll be passing that shortly, but so far so good. Just past the 20 mile mark. My watch says about two hours and 18 minutes have passed since we left the Champs Elysees this morning. Six miles to go. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys, let's finish this strong. Just past 23 miles, that means there's only 5k to go. Come on guys, let's do this, finish strong. I've got to say something special about this marathon is that it's really segmented into distinct sections of really busy city streets, split out by nice long runs through these quiet country roads. So it's definitely nice to get a break from the city for a while and obviously come back into it later as you progress through the marathon. Highly recommend it. Right, I can see 25 mile mark in front of me. This is it guys, we've got to give it everything now. Let's go, come on. Thank you. 
is just ahead of me. I'm going to finish this marathon in just under three hours and three minutes. A new personal best has been an absolute pleasure. What an experience to run the Paris Marathon here in France on my birthday. We've now finished. Well, I've got to say that was a brilliant marathon. It was 10 times better than the Brighton Marathon a few weeks ago. I took gels. The sun was out today, but it was a lot less intense than last time. And the course was brilliant and flat for the majority of the time. There was lots of shade to enjoy. I'd highly recommend the Paris Marathon to anybody if you're from England or anywhere in the UK. It's an easy one. You just literally go to France, about an hour on the plane. Book yourself a ticket for the next one. It's brilliant. I've been Craig. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you again in the next one.